Good morning guys, how are we all doing? So Dan from Trading with Dan here. This is our Bitcoin morning update. So if you guys wouldn't mind smashing that like button, we shall go straight over to those Bitcoin 4 hour charts. And yeah, here we go, here we go again. We have um, we have been rejected uh, yesterday at this horizontal level. We're all looking good, um, taking out these this sort of weak bounce highs here um, but obviously uh, this uh, resistance was too much and these highs here to take out was was a bit too much to ask as of yesterday um, so we find ourselves we do find ourselves right down here back at the import the most important level of support uh, in pretty much um, the short medium and probably long term in all fairness um, we are currently I mean, we can't really say we are at a higher a higher low because we have not um, confirmed a low here even on the four hour uh, but currently we are higher than these lows so if we are literally to turn around here move back up um, and then uh, attempt to take out this resistance um, well or for the second time or third time of asking if we kind of want to look at this as an attempt um, then yeah we can potentially potentially go bullish take out this downward sloping trend line also uh, and then move move up towards well start making moves over the next few weeks to the top of the range but obviously <laughs> we are a lot closer we are a lot closer to the downward res down downside resolution of this um of this basically uh pattern or formation or whatever you want to call it but basically this price action we are closer to a, a downsize resolution to the price action so uh yeah that is that is clearly the risk there we do we do literally right at the level we're at now need to start moving back up and then we're going to get basically back above uh back above 45,000 and then things will actually start to look very good uh very good for the medium term at least long term we've got to take out this level um uh, but yeah it's medium well medium and short term clearly but yeah we will start to look very good then but obviously is that what's going to happen we shall have to find out today uh it is tuesday it is turnaround tuesday last turnaround tuesday did um did um did do a number on on the market um faked out faked out into a bit of a turnaround before dumping but maybe this turnaround tuesday will actually turn around on the basis that people are going to be a bit a bit a bit um a bit apprehensive after last tuesday's uh, price action um so yeah we will have a look at the stock markets uh, in a minute and see how they are looking um also the ethereum satoshi pairing similarly uh, rejected at a level came back down tested into our support uh, again um, and yeah trying trying to bounce here but again that is the uh, is the operative we're trying to it needs to actually be able to do it get get onwards and upwards otherwise yeah we're not we're not looking we are not looking very good uh, Ethereum, the ethereum uh, usd pairing again similar similar into its horizontal uh, needs to bounce here um, obviously a lot of the problems are being caused by well by the dollar index as we can see it is uh, it is breaking higher um so realistically it has targets of um well i just need to sneeze um <coughs> realistically it has targets now um of into of into the mid 94s um into the mid 94s basically <laughs> so quite quite uh, quite uh, quite lofty targets there um so yeah that could obviously put the squeeze on the market um in the short term we've got this high here which will actually uh draw on because this is a uh, this just will be important um just taking out this high um so yeah take that out and then and then i think realistically we have to be looking at this level but we may get rejected here we may in inverted commas double top one of those famous double tops we may double top around this level and come back down but we shall have to see uh if we do we'll have this uh level of support to contend with which will just extend along so this is putting the squeeze and as we were saying the uh the 10 year uh the 10 year is pretty much uh, the 10 year and the dollar pretty much uh, moving in tandem um, so yeah, this is obviously squeezing up as well into into actually actually hit a, a one a one spot five handle a one spot five uh, price. So yeah, um, obviously the dollar strengthening up there um, not ideal for risk assets. Although the ten year obviously is being moved up by the dollar um, and the yield um, and basically the yield um, this yield going up is obviously an indication of 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 risk. Um, but then obviously is also potentially indication of uh, inflation 
uh, as well. But yeah, um, obviously people are currently assuming that the jobs numbers are going to be good and the um, tapering is going to be uh, going to be as as stated by the Fed, uh, at which point obviously bond yields have to rise. So um, yeah, that is uh, obviously what is happening at the moment. So we shall have to see how that plays out because you guys obviously know know my views on 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 that and the jobs numbers and and the actual state of the economy and whether uh tightening will will actually happen or tightening or or tapering tapering the like to call it uh if we look at the stop uh, the s p uh, is not looking not looking too good here obviously with that move in the dollar as well um the uh it has taken out this level we drew in which is an important level um for it to take out so today on turnaround tuesday if we do get back above this horizontal and do start to move back up to the upside then that will uh, potentially look like a bit of a liquidity hunt uh below this low and then yeah and then we'll get moved back up but obviously we've got to wait for, to see that move back up and then also we kind of got this level we need to get back above as well otherwise it will just look like uh if we don't get above there and we get towards it it will look like we're painting a head and shoulders but yeah um i mean <laughs> being, being a bit of an optimist yeah maybe with this is just a uh, the liquidity hunt below and we will get a turnaround tuesday pump up but we shall have to see and um, that uh, yeah, we will find out what happens today today um so yeah um if you want to look at nasdaq or nascoin as well um obviously the tech the tech sector potentially more closely closely linked uh to bitcoin it's not looking as bad uh, if we draw a horizontal in here, uh, we are currently uh, above this horizontal. So if we we have obviously a nice wick below and then back above it. So if we can get moving to the upside and then also potentially take out um, take out these these sort of, these sort of area here, um, then yeah, I mean realistically we could be looking at more onwards and upwards for for this, and then that will obviously drag everything else up with it um so um yeah important level here as well for for basically for turn around tuesday to turn us around um yeah not that much else to look at on there so classics were starting to look good yesterday but let's have a look at how they are looking at the moment um yeah four hour coming down has got room to run um 10 hour we shall await the uh 10 hour um the 10 hour to load up uh yeah 10 hours now turned back down actually and uh yeah looking to turn back down rejecting getting into the bullish half so uh not the best not the best read 12 hour is still just about pointing up though so if we can get moving uh we can bounce here then the 10 hour at least 12 hour at least keep moving up 12 hour to daily turning back down uh hovering around this low level two day uh taking a dive again as well get into a potentially lower level for it to turn back up from three days similarly get into a lower level uh five day diving uh weekly has turned back over which is not really a good sign so we're going to have to kind of hope for this sort of price action uh and then bi-weekly um still on the rise so um yeah i mean again the stochastic read is 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 somewhat irrelevant at the moment the only really important thing we need to be looking at is uh basically bouncing from this this pretty much exact level we are at now uh otherwise yeah we are otherwise i mean it's it is looking pretty bearish um just one other one other a uh, little bit of optimism i can throw in there it's just like this is this is the sort of thing bitcoin um, it does have a tendency to do look particularly bearish and then just reverse on the dime obviously uh um yeah i mean that's what, I, what else can i say other than that um yeah so we'll just have to see what happens but if we do break down if we do break down then we are looking obviously into this next horizontal level which um i'm not sure why we've got some extra lines going on here maybe delete that one um and then maybe extend this along we are pretty much looking at down to here would be the next uh, next real area for a potential um, potential bounce, um, and then that bounce would have to then get back above uh, forty two thousand. Otherwise, otherwise it's just it 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 looks extremely uh, distributive and uh, reminiscent of this price action here. Where uh, and then yeah, and then we'll uh, just yeah be looking to take out the lows uh, and going lower. So <coughs> obviously we've got potential. Bitcoin ETF on the cards. It's funny saying that because obviously you guys have been in crypto since like 2016-17. It used to be a bit of a of a of a, of a meme in the market. The uh, the Bitcoin ETF in like 2017. Obviously, it never came. The futures came instead, and obviously dumped. 
um the cme futures came anyway and dumped uh dumped um basically bitcoin at 20k uh but um yeah but well, there we go so that is it guys uh this is not a financial advice i'm not a financial advisor always do your own research and i shall speak to you guys soon